This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Today is Monday, uh, Monday morning, and we are on our way to get some fuel, seeing as we are running low, in fact we're nearly on the zero. We've uh, already done one run this morning, <coughs> but I'm going to tell you now, apologies for my cough and me sounding like I got a cold, uh, it's because I've got a cold. <laughs> Um, it's bloody June and I got a cold a week before track fest. Um, I had to come to work Saturday and I was not feeling good. I had a banging headache. I was sweating because I was like, I, had a, I was just really hot. I had a, I had a temperature, headache. Uh, my nose was running. Well, one minute it was running, the next minute it wasn't. And uh, I'm still trying to recover, but we're nearly there. Anyway, so. Today is Monday morning. We've done one run already this morning. We went to Abingdon. Uh, and we're just on the way back, but we need to get some fuel before we actually go all the way back to uh, Surdy Wick, where we get loaded. Are you 100% straight? I don't think you are. So yeah, uh, as I just briefly mentioned, Truck Fest is coming up. Uh, it's, we leave Friday. So I, I have actually got to work Friday. Um, I'm hoping to finish as early as possible, around about 12ish. And then we're going to go back to the yard, unhitch the trailer, go home, have a quick shower, come back to the yard again for like one half, one, maybe two, and then drive to Malvern, straight from my yard. It takes about an hour and a bit to get there, not too long. So we aim to be there sort of before four o'clock Friday. And um, yeah, it's going to be fun. Looking forward to it. It's going to be a bloody hot weekend. So taking lots of sun cream lotion got a gazebo and everything for some shade, plenty of chairs, uh, press the button, bear with me one sec, yeah so it's going to be a very 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 warm hot weekend, plenty of suntan lotion, we've got a gazebo and everything, um, so we can uh, obviously keep nice and cool. And also, I've just been and bought myself a new flag. I've, I've had a flag, it was actually up here. Oh, by the way, my LED sign, it's not 100% installed yet. It was installed, but it fell over. I need to get some industrial Velcro, uh, stick it on the back properly, but at least it's working. Uh, yeah, I did have a flag up in the back, um, but I've been and bought myself a new flag, and this one is two meters wide by one meter high. So it's quite a big flag. And uh, I've been on also bought myself a six metre telescopic flagpole. Um, this is like really lightweight. And I'm going to have it on the back of the cab, sort of halfway up. And then it's going to be about f probably four metres above the cab, I expect, um, with this big massive flag on. So you should be able to see me from a distance at Truck Fest, but just by looking out for the flag, because that's going to be pretty cool. Um, right, anyway, let's get some fuel. Got to remember my mileage now, 313.070. 313.070. Let's bring it with me. Oh. 313.070. Oh, I'm all tangled up now. Here we go, let's just put you here a sec. Oh, it's rumbling away. This is my mic, by the way, goes on to this GoPro. I'll just pop that in my pocket. Right, let me go and get the fuel. Put in my special code. What did I say the mileage was? 313.070. Yeah. Right, let's get that open. And I need a rag because it comes out quite fast. 
and it like spills everywhere so it's just better to have a rag. So yeah we've um, got lots of stuff to do when we get to truck fest so I've got some ultra tyre shine that I need to put on the tyres. I've got, I've got to take uh, my embellished bottle back home and refill it up actually because I've got a load of embellish at home. Obviously we're going to be using the old pink, put that there a sec. And something I've not used before is this, it's the Fast Wax by Chrome. So normally I, I just use embellish but we're trying to use that. Application description, better suit to light coloured vehicles, so white. Uh, spray directly onto the vehicle, wet or dry and spread with a cloth or sponge and buff off with a dry cloth. So I'm going to try using some of that. Um, got some tar and bitulin remover. So on some of the white arches there's a bit of tar or whatever you call the, the fifth wheel grease. So I'm hoping that's going to try and remove some of it. And uh, I've got some more sp more tyre shine as well. i got lots more stuff but that's just what's in my latest shipment from Chrome. And also if you guys want to get anything from Chrome, remember you get 10% off if you quote my name, Luke Cena HDV. So go ahead and do that. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got plenty of pink. And I've also got another one of these bottles at home as well. <laughs> we've got lots and lots and lots of pink. Right, I need two hands to put that back in. This is starting to come out quite slow. i got two tanks on this truck, but I'm only going to do one tank. Because if I do both tanks now, there's a chance I'll run out before truck fest. Um, in which case I'll have to come back and refill up with fuel. But if I just do just this one tank, I'm definitely going to run out before truck fest. And then I've got to come back then and then I'll do both tanks. And I'll have more than enough, if that makes sense. That's what I'm planning on doing. Oh, this um, Ultra Tire Shine. It comes in this bottle here. So it's not got a spray on anything. <coughs> so I put this spray on. It worked fine to begin with, but now I think it's all dried up inside. So I need I need to take that spray off, put another spray on. I've got plenty of empty bottles. And then just remember when I finish, I need to unscrew the cap and spray it all out and then put the lid back on. Yes. We've got lots of stuff. Yeah, this is not coming out very fast. I was on a zero, so I expect I'm going to have close to 350 litres. We're on 220 right now. Right, let's see if I can get this in one-handed. It's a bit tight. I need to sort out these cupboards. We'll just see how fast it's coming out the nozzle. It's coming out relatively fast here. We're on 250. Uh, yeah, we'll keep going for now. <coughs> I do apologise for my cough. Like I said, hopefully I'll get, get well before we go to Truck Fest Friday. <coughs> but yeah. Also, a special announcement is coming up soon regarding another truck fest, this time in Shepton Mallet. It's the 1st and 2nd of September, I believe, so it's in a couple of months yet. Me and a couple of other YouTubers have been invited by truck fest to, to turn up to the event and do a meet and greet and possibly talk in the arena as well. This is at Shepton Mallet, but we, um, we're in talks all of us. I'm not going to mention who it is, but yeah, you might be able to work it out yourselves. But we are in talks and they're doing the promotional posters at the moment and we could appear on those posters. So keep an, uh, keep an eye out for those posters. As soon as I see it, I'll uh, be posting it on my Facebook page to make it official. But yeah, um, we do plan on going to Shepton Mallet as well. So not just me and anyone else who may have been invited, but me and the company. So. I'll be going anyway, regardless. We're on 350 litres now. 
350 litres. Imagine you were paying for that at the pump. It's what is it, a pound, pound fifty for a litre of diesel at the moment? So 350 times two, what's that? Uh, no, 350 plus half of 150, 175, so 350 plus 175 is something I can't work out right now because I can't be bothered but yeah basically nearly 500 quid <laughs> right 355 litres is what we just put in that's good plenty of fuel that should last us a day or two <laughs> back in the cab let's put you back there uh, 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 get the keys out and before I forget because I will forget I just need to write down how much we put in 355 right now I can go back there back can go there seat belt can go on right Now we've got some fuel, we can carry on with the rest of the day. Let's go and get loaded, and I'll see you in a bit. I don't know where we're actually going, so we'll find out. Right, so we are loaded, and we're actually at the place we're delivering to. Uh, we are in Gloucester. I'm obviously not going to say exactly where I am. If you know Gloucester well, you might be able to know the road, who knows. But uh, yeah, I'm in Gloucester. We, um, we got here, but well, when we got here, there was a, a lorry already waiting. Uh, where, where I am actually now actually I was on the opposite side of the road facing that way so when I turned up there was a truck where I am now so I come over to him and said hello you, you deliver into you know this company uh, they said yeah in their best English they weren't actually English but and then they said they're gonna call me in when they're ready so I was like oh right, well I'll go and have a word of them anyway so I went on in and had a word and I realized there's another truck in there as well um, like a load of cement blocks or something so actually right now there's two trucks inside getting unloaded and I'm outside so I'm third in line which is not ideal because normally you want to get to these places and you want to be in and out in an hour and I've actually already been here 20 minutes and we're not even in so not ideal but what can we do hey eh? what can we do so yeah we're just gonna have to sit tight wait for them to call us in uh, and then try and get unloaded as quickly as possible go back to Cerny and try and get another run done today as well because ideally we want to do three runs have to wait and see this video is sponsored by trailer training uk operating across the south delivering hgv class one and two courses as well as weekly cpc courses they also do car and trailer courses and many more I have heard nothing but good things about these guys. Check out their online presence. They got a 91.7% first time pass rate. And if you quote Luke, see you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Right, so we are just leaving now. The uh, place we just delivered to. It's now quarter past one in the afternoon. And uh, ETA, back to South Cerny is quarter to two. Time is getting on as to whether or not we'll be able to get a third delivery done or not. If we're there for an hour, which we normally are, at the very least, it's gonna be quarter to three. Um, and then if it takes an hour to get to wherever I've got to go to, that's quarter to four. And after four o'clock, a lot of places don't take deliveries. So it's gonna be very much touch and go as to whether or not I'm gonna get another delivery done today, but hopefully we can. I will try my best as soon as these traffic lights turn green. Um, but yeah, if they take an hour and a half to get me loaded, which is quite often the case, then, you know, we're looking at quarter past three before we even leave. It only leaves me 45 minutes to get to wherever I've got to get to. So, unless they give me a localised run. Wow, these lights do not want to change. I've been here for a while now been here for a while um, since I last spoke about uh, an upcoming uh, event happening at Truckfest Southwest not the Melbourne one the Shepton Mallet one it's on the 1st and 2nd of September 
uh, it has now become public uh, knowledge that uh, they are going to have an area called the, the Vlogger Village. And the Vlogger Village is where myself, Kev T, and Chuck a J, Chuck a J in the UK. Can't get my words out. Chuck a J in the UK. So myself, Kev T, Kev T and Chuck a J in the UK. All three of us will be there. Um, I'm not entirely sure if we're taking our trucks or not. I I want to take my truck. I don't know about the other guys whether they'll be taking their trucks or not. But yeah, we will be in the arena. We will be uh, possibly talking in the arena and we're doing meet and greets as well in the vlogger village so that'd be fun it's a new experience for all of us i believe <coughs> so uh we'll have to wait and see uh what, how that's going to turn out but hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun a lot of fun I, I can't wait to actually uh to go to be honest and meet the chaps it's a bit of a shame that it's only us three because i know there's a lot of other vloggers out there who wouldn't mind going and who i wouldn't mind liking to meet as well myself so but you know it is what it is it's a shame for example that cjc can't go but not that he can't go <laughs> um, they haven't invited him which is a, is a bit of a shame because i i did put his name forward to go as well but never mind it is what it is i will be there kev t will be there and chaka j in the uk will be there so come down and meet us at shepter mallet and i've got a car on my left i had a funny feeling that car on my left there was going to cut me up but he didn't so that's all good Right, let's crack on. Uh, hopefully we can get loaded and go and do another delivery. Alrighty then, so we are now on our way to Melksham. We are gonna try and get another delivery done today. Uh, we are pushing it though. Um, don't come out, bus. I am in a rush, so please don't come out. <laughs> um, yeah, um, most people stop taking deliveries at four o'clock. My ETA there is at 10 to four in Melksham, which is an hour and 15 minutes away. Um, well, just under an hour, 15 minutes away, because we're going a different way now. So, yeah, um, it is going to be pushing it. Hopefully, we don't get held up in traffic, because if we do, we're not going to make the four o'clock. Um, and I don't know what would happen then, because I have not bought any night out stuff with me, which is a rookie error. But, um, yeah, there's, you're pretty much guaranteed not to have a night out doing this job. But if they, if I get there after four o'clock and they won't take the delivery, I might have, might have to end up doing a night out. In which case, I'll have to go for a walk to the shop and buy some stuff because uh, I've got no new, I've got no T-shirts or underwear or socks or anything like that, which is a bit silly. I I normally have a bag on me, but I haven't. But oh well. Sod's law, isn't it? Sod's luck. But yeah, hopefully we can make it there before four o'clock, and then they want me to come back and preload for tomorrow. I got four runs booked in for tomorrow apparently and uh, ideally I need to be preloaded and also deliver quite early in the morning like half past six in the morning so it's going to be a very very tight schedule because if I do get there for ten to four say four o'clock they start a tip for me it takes an hour that's five o'clock I'm then in rush hour traffic all the way back I am not going to get back until about half past six and then I've got to get loaded as well. I'm not going to get home until we've gone half seven. I've got to have a minimum nine hours off, which means I can't start until what, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, half past four. And they want me there for half past six. So it's doable, but yeah, it's very, very tight. So hopefully we can get this delivered ASAP and come back and then get loaded as quickly as possible. That's the plan. Oh, uh, if you follow me on Facebook, you may notice that this looks familiar. That's where the cows were crossing over there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Luke in a HGV, and you'll see a picture of some cows crossing the road with some rather, rather uh, suspicious activity. <laughs> that line is there for a reason, mate. It's so then trucks can get round. There we go. Right, so let's crack on. Let's go to Melksham. Hopefully we can get there ASAP. Right, so we um, tipped in uh, Melksham. We're on our way back now to Gloss, no, not Gloucester. We're on our way back to Surrey to get loaded. It's a 30 mile an hour limit down here. I'm doing 30, no, he's overtaking me. Yeah, we're um, on our way back to South Surrey now to get loaded, to go to Gloucester first thing tomorrow morning. 
Um, and then I'm not quite sure what else I'm doing. I know I got, I think I got two local ones, a Swindon and a Sirencester, and possibly another run as well. So we're looking at four runs in total. So it's going to be a busy one. It's ten past five right now. By the time I get to South Sydney and get loaded, it's going to be at least, I reckon, six, six o'clock, quarter past six, before I even leave. Uh, and then by the time I get back to the yard, we're talking half six, quarter to seven, I reckon. So it's going to be a relatively late finish today. And then we've got to start relatively early tomorrow. Good news is we're only going to Gloucester, so don't take too long to get there. So if I've got to get there for half six, I won't need to leave any earlier than half five. So that's one plus side. Gloucester ain't too far away, less than an hour away. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. I was uh, I was hoping I was going to get back a little bit earlier, to be honest. Oh, I know him. Hoping I was going to get back a little bit earlier, but um, it is what it is. They they tipped me relatively fast at Malksham. It was uh, it was my earlier run at Gloucester, which messed me up. Like I said, I was like three behind. Uh, I was the third third one in the queue, and uh, it just took a while to actually get me in and get me back out again. So it is what it is. Now, what I will say is something that uh, someone mentioned the other day that someone said I was going too I was driving too fast it looked like I was doing like 40 or 50 in a 30 and then I was doing like over 50 miles an hour in a 50 uh, I assure you I do not break the, the speed limit at all but especially when I'm recording because I know people are watching right now have a, have a guess have a guess how fast I'm going right now and then I'll tell you how fast I'm going I mean that bike over took me at speed I'm doing 42 miles an hour right now. The reason why it looks like I'm going faster is because I'm recording in uh, high frames per second. I can't remember exactly what I'm recording in right now. I think it's 60 FPS this time. But basically, the whom, not most videos are done at 30 FPS. So there's twice as many frames. So it looks like you're going almost twice as fast, in a way. But yeah, I assure anybody who thinks I'm speeding, I do not speed at the best of times, but especially when I'm actually filming myself, I'm not that stupid. But um, yeah, never mind. <coughs> like right now, I'm doing 30 miles an hour right now. 30, that's what I'm doing. But it probably looks like I'm going a lot faster. Anyway, let's go get loaded. Um, in fact, I'm probably gonna end the vlog here actually, because there's no point vlogging when I do get loaded just to say I'm loaded see you tomorrow or whatever so I'm gonna leave you here I do plan on doing another video this week and also trying to get it uploaded before I go to truck fest so that'll be three uh, two videos this this week going out before truck fest and then hang on this is a big bump coming up we've got a proper slow down to go over this bump you, you find out the hard way when you first go over here I'm doing 30 miles an hour over that if you go any faster things go flying <laughs> so yeah I'd doing two videos before I go to Truck Fest and then when I go to Truck Fest I don't know what the format's going to be but I do plan on filming every day a little bits and bobs and also if you are coming to Truck Fest be warned you may be filmed um, I'll probably let you know anyway that you might actually be on camera because I'm probably going to have cameras inside the cab filming so anyone who wants to get inside the cab <coughs> might be on camera and I also plan on getting people to introduce the channel as well so I want people to sort of say hi my name is I know, for example, there's a guy called Reese uh, who I met last year at Malvern, and I know he's coming this year again. Uh, in fact, you just messaged me saying you're coming Sunday, so shout out Reese. But for example, Reese might say, "Hi, my name's Reese. You're watching Luke C and HGV," and then it'll kick into my intro. And if I can get a few people to do that, I thought that'd be quite cool, getting you involved in the videos. But um, yeah, if you want to do that and you're coming down to Malvern, remind me. But also, I plan on asking people if they want to be in the video anyway by doing that. So yes. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully uh, it's been all right. It's not been too bad. It's just been one of those long days today. I'll get another video out, video out before the end of the week as well. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe. I will see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.